Olive or red. It's copyright, isn't it? What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Reese, and I make fly fishing tutorials and videos that will help you catch more fish. In this video, we're looking at five flies that you need in your box to catch fish in 2020, starting right now. <laughs> If this is your first time here and you want to learn more, don't forget to press the red subscribe button and smash the bell so you don't miss out on future notifications. Okay, so today we're looking at five flies that you need in your box to catch fish in 2020. Let's put five minutes on the clock and let's go. Number one. Okay, so we're looking at the shimmer worm. The shimmer worm is basically very much like a squirmy or very much like a chamois. Instead, it's made with yarn and the yarn here has some gold fleck in it. Now, this yarn is a yarn made by Celtic Block Company. I started using this pattern about six months ago. I've got to be honest, it's been a consistent banker for me. So I would normally fish this maybe three, four, five foot down under a bung and don't move it. There is an alternative. You could fish this on an 18 foot leader with a floater and just fish it very, very, very slow. And what you often find is the fish will just come in and slam it and you've just got to set the hook. Number two, okay, we're looking at the ever faithful apps worm. For me, it catches, I would say about 80% of my fish. The only colors you'll need for this are amber, olive and red. Maybe some variations on those. You'll have seen that the red one, for example, was a pattern we were using in all of the multi-venue challenge and it worked out to be a consistent banker for us. I fish it two different ways. I fish a brand in like this on an 18 foot leader, fished on a floater and just inch it back very slowly. I'm just trying to keep those flies as high in the water column as I can. And you'll often find the fish will just come in and nail it like a buzzer. Or you can put them on a sinking line, so anything from a slow intermediate down to a dive five, chuck it out and pull it as fast as you can. That can be short six inch strips or a roly poly. And what you'll often find, especially if you're fishing high in the water, it'll be like a bow wave behind the fly. Imagine like a shark chasing bait fish. It's a thrill to watch when you're just stripping back there and the fish is just right on the back end of your fly and you're just like, go on, take it, take it, take it, take it, and then it just slams in. So that's number two, olives. Number three, we're gonna move on to the mop or the mitten or the what's it. It's hard to believe that we as fly anglers are using something like this, but actually this is a really good alternative to an egg fly. For those who don't know, it's just a car mitt where you cut out the middle bit. I'll show you how to do that right now. So all you want to do is you want to take a Stanley blade into the center of the car mitt, cut away the protective film. Then you'll see this groove in between each area. Take a Stanley bit through that groove and that will break away the cord that keeps the mitt together. At that point then, you wanna pull that cord out and you should end up with a piece, maybe 20, 30 inches long. That will form part of the body. Then you wanna to go to the front end where you've got the legs sitting off. Cut those legs off. Those legs are too long, effectively. You wanna cut one of them in half, tie that on the base, and then use the remaining bit that you cut off earlier as the body. And that's it. These are so simple to tie. They're so quick to tie, but actually they prove to be a really good alternative when you're fishing a fishery which doesn't allow eggs, for example. Okay, number four, we're gonna look at these. So this fly, it's an egg fly. Everybody knows what good eggs are, but this is different and it's new out this year. So this is Egg It. Again, it's made by a company called Celtic Blob Company. And it's the first company they've seen who have kind of incorporated ecstasy style material together with some fritz. Now, ecstasy has proven itself to be a fish catcher for the last couple of years, and there's no doubting that. But what you will find is that the fish will gradually get used to seeing ecstasy and the colors that come with it. So any small variation on an ecstasy part then will always work better than standard. And the interesting thing about this is that the material itself, if you shine a light on this, I've got the custard cream and the pink here. If you shine a light on these, they will retain the light. And it's not like anything I've seen before. I think this year, these are gonna be game changers, especially in the small still water scene and the competition scene. Okay, and then finally, we're looking at rabbits. So I've got an olive a cat and a powder pink here. Rabbits are a staple in the armory of any fly angler you will find that most people will fish snakes and snakes are fantastic, but actually with competition fishing, we cannot fish snakes, they're banned in the fish bush. So the competition angler has to come up with an alternative and it comes in the form of just a simple rabbit tail and rabbit body. These three will be fished throughout the day. And it's just a case when you're fishing lures to vary up the retrieve every so often until you find what works. I'll often fish these on a fast glass with 12 to 14 foot leader and then just mix up the retrieve up to see what's working. It could be a slow figure of eight, it could be a fast, it could be a roly-poly, it could be a long strip, short strip. 
on the day, it's just a case of working out what works. And that is it. So that's five flies that you need in your box to catch fish in 2020. If you've got a personal favorite from the list I just mentioned, let me know in the comments below. I'll leave links in the description for where you can buy all the materials that you need for these flies. And hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.